What's up everyone, I'm Vizier and I'm here with a Borderlands 3 video. Today, Mayhem 2.0 was released, and with that we've got some quests from Maurice, and that'll be taking you to a new area with some new bosses and new legendaries. But the main update here is Mayhem Mode. Gearbox added 6 more levels, which gives us a total level count of 10. And the higher Mayhem level, the more XP, money, Iridium, and drop chance you will get. But with that, the modifiers are also going to change. So depending on the level that you choose, your modifiers will change from easy, medium, hard, and very hard. And these modifiers will drastically change the way you play your game. The really cool thing, however, is that you are able to re-roll your modifiers whenever you want and however much you want. This can also be done anywhere in the game because they've added a tab at the top of your echo that allows you to change your mode on the fly. Now, this will reload the map, but it's so much better than going back to Sanctuary to redo your, your modifiers. Now, with all this, you're going to be wanting to restart your collection of legendaries at Mayhem 10, but you won't be able to go there straight away. The stat bonus that enemies get on Mayhem 10 is going to totally outlevel your guns at Mayhem 4, so you're going to have to do it in stages. So, my recommendation is to find a gun that you really like, and that you know is going to be really powerful to take on Mayhem 10 enemies. You want to go to the boss that drops this gun and stick it on Mayhem 6, and you'll be able to kill him with your Mayhem 4 weapons. And then if you're lucky, he'll drop the legendary gun and it will have Mayhem 6 stats. With that gun, you'll be able to then tackle the same boss on Mayhem 8, get a Mayhem 8 stat gun, and then tackle him on Mayhem 10. Once you do this and you have a Mayhem 10 statted gun, you'll be able to take on anything in Mayhem 10 and start farming for the other guns that you'd like. In my case, I chose the Clairvoyance because it's a pretty decent gun and Critchy, the guy who drops it, his drop rate is quite high as well. I've done a video on Critchy's drop rates and it's about a 1 in 3, so you'll be getting it quite easily. I will say though, the jump from Mayhem 8 to Mayhem 10 was much larger than all the other jumps. It took me like twice the amount of time to kill Critchy on Mayhem 10 with my Mayhem 8 gun. And it just made me realize that, you know, Mayhem 10 is not mucking around. They will put you down if you're not careful. So yeah, this was just a quick video for you guys to show you how to go from Mayhem 4 to Mayhem 10 probably the easiest way possible. So if you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a like and stay tuned because I'll be doing some legendary weapon guides on the new legendaries for the new update here. But apart from that, thanks for watching and I'll see you in a bit.